Namaste angels. This is the actual general reading for the week of September 9th through September 15th, beginning with the dice and forget it. Weekend away. And cocktail. Weekend away could be now, like while I'm recording this. Um, I think probably technically it's Saturday morning. I'm not sure what time. And the dice say 29. That's spiritual partnership. Ooh, sex. This may be romantic spiritual partnership to be more specific. And try again. You could be guided to try again as it relates to that relationship. If it's something that, that didn't work out before or you had a situation between you that hasn't worked out the way you or your partner would like or both. You may want to try again or something that you're trying to accomplish together, um, whether romantic or, or not, um, but some sort of spiritual partnership or as an individual. You may want to try again. And then it's 50-50. So both people have to put in the effort uh, toward whatever the goal is, the common goal. And if you're working as an individual, you need balance. That's what the 50-50 is. All right, going to the card, beginning with Major Arcana card zero, the dreamer, and Archangel Metatron. Zero means cipher in supreme math. I, I just took special note of the double zeros as it related to the latitude um, with the 17 degree Virgo new moon. Of course, this card in this deck for me, those of you who watch me any, with any kind of regularity know, represents the planet Mercury, ruler of Virgo, as well as Gemini. A leap of faith, follow your dreams, that leads to unexpected opportunities. So this is a way to jump at something brand new um, with the new moon, right? New start. Look at my nails, new. I'm starting to grow them all brand new. I said, just cut them all the way down. Cut them all the way down. And let's just start fresh. Got rid of the yellow. <laughs> Um, speaking of Gemini, opening to Major Arcana card number one, right after zero, on the heels of zero. Oh, okay. So now we got to see the four is behind it too. Scorpio energy. We talked about Scorpios. Um, and I guess what we can call the prelude to this reading. Um, Major Arcana card one, the magician, represents for me the planet Gemini. I mean, the sign of Gemini. Um, it, it sometimes the other mutable signs too. More so Gemini because, you know, Gemini is a twin, you know, so it's like mutable to the second power, you know, has all the mutable signs, you know, have the ability, the capability to take on the traits of any other sign in the zodiac. That's why when I see a lot of these things about zodiac signs, I'm like, you know, how can you have anything without the mutable signs listed? Like anything that, that any trait, they go on the, <laughs> they go on the list. Um, but again, yeah, Gemini is just, you know, it's the second power because it's two. The, the, the power of the twins. You are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them, and life is magical. Dreamer. And opening to the Queen of Earth. Thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensible. Make time for those around you. Oop, there go the orbs. Take a sensible approach and deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. The Queen of Earth is a Virgo, perhaps, um, like the um, um, Dreamer, the Fool, or a Taurus, a Capricorn, or someone likened to those traits or attributes. Could be Venus, too. Could be Venus. Or Mercury, even though it's feminine. And opening to the Eight of Water, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. Did you see that? That one just went really, really quickly by an order. Just went zoop. Queen of Earth and the Page of Fire, outgoing, creative, confident, mischievous. News of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. This could be showing up perhaps because of that Jupiter sextile. Um, the Page of Fire represents the sign of Sagittarius, which is ruled by Jupiter. It could be a Leo, Aries, maybe even a Scorpio as well, that page of fire. And if so, perhaps a younger one of, you know, of the other signs. 
Um, it could be a younger Sagittarius too, but Sagittarius are, are on its own, it's already a youthful energy. So that's why I connected to the page. Clean the verse back and opening two major arcana cards, 17, the star. So then the Virgo, new moon, will be 17 degrees Virgo. Major arcana card, the star, however, represents the planet Uranus in the sign of Aquarius, which it rules. Happy times, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You are on the right path. So Aquarius is where Mars will be, um, or is re-entering. This can be about communication, maybe most specifically electronic communication, texts, email, um, FaceTime. Mm, you know, you guys get the idea. It's also about prayers being answered. You know, so something that you've really been longing for, you've been asking the universe for, you've been asking God for. Wishes being granted. Dreams coming true. Maybe it's something that you, you know, fantasize about or maybe even saw during your sleep. And that may have something to do with finances, material assets or something coming to you. Maybe that's what you've been dreaming about, fantasizing about, praying for. God, please send me some money. You know, that could be. And opening to the eight of earth. Please send me a job, perhaps, or an opportunity to go to school. Skilled work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic and maybe even going back to school. Dear God, please send me the money to go to school. Something like that could be the case. Too. One more. Let's do it. Nice. Glad we did. It's the ace of earth. The inflow of abundance. A promising business venture. Important documents or contracts. Oh, look at that. Now, it's the three of air. It did show up. These cards just made me, like, thrust them away. They, I was, like, forced to do that. Um, this showed up in reverse. There are no reversals, technically, in this deck, but I think we should take note of that. Great sadness. Take time to heal. There's a need to forgive yourself and others. So if you guys watched um, the video I did about what's going on this week that would normally have been at the head of this video um, you heard me say that in both or all three actually uh, the Christian calendar the Islamic calendar and the Hebrew calendar are all recognizing some sort of feast holiday this week connected to sorrow forgiveness atonement that can be what this is about as it relates to abundance, especially having just seen the Ten of Earth too, which can be connected to a lump sum and sometimes an inheritance. Maybe somebody passed away previously, um, so it had been something sad, and now this blessing is coming in as a result. It's making us abundant. That's why we have to sign important papers. We have to go do something with the estate or with a lawyer. Um, insurance company, bank, right? Um, some sort of settlement. So maybe you worked at some place, you got hurt, you worked there a long time, you, you like the people, but this has happened, so there was some sadness and you know, mourning attached to it. However, abundance coming in, maybe again in a lump sum, one check or something. of water sticking up, being mindful about opportunities that are presented to you, keep your eyes open for them, and coming to the nine of fire. Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. The nine of fire is all about perseverance. Like Keep pushing, even if it feels like, oh, I've, I'm really over this. I've had enough. Um, like the end is near, so keep on pushing. I need to mention that I saw... Um, the eight of water again to so that desire to move on and the search for something more meaningful but our overall energy is the night of earth loyal dedicated honorable and kind it's time to buckle down and get things done honor your commitment see the guardian angel the night of earth may be a virgo capricorn taurus or someone likened to those traits or attributes um, this is 
about the energy of slow and steady wins the race. Practicality, making a plan, seeing that plan through, reaping the rewards, night of earth. As a court card, it can be your energy or the energy of another person that is actually impactful upon your life this week. Maybe they facilitate some sort of abundance coming to you, a banker or creditor, someone who helps you to fill out the important papers, some sort of guardian, who may or may not be a direct earth sign. the masculine this week it is major arcana card life experience the tower um card number 16 a significant life event a powerful revelation that leads to change it's time to spread your wings the tower can go either way for me we don't see any other cards yet i gotta turn over some more stuff so we don't know what the energies surrounding it are but it's not automatically negative just because it's a tower it may have to do with an actual structure too by the way like a home a business Masculine surrounded by the queen of earth who's independent, experienced, realistic, and witty. Objective decision making. Clearing away all that no longer serves you and seeing the humor in a situation. Well, because um, the tower carries the energy of the sign of Scorpio, for me, this could be a representative of Venus in Scorpio. Right? Venus enters Scorpio this week. Could be. Queen of air is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Mars enters Aquarius. That's another reason for this. Um, or someone likened to those traits or attributes. Queen of Air, good for cutting away what no longer serves her. So that may be what this is attached to, too. You have a revelation. <gasps> I know. I have no business in that place or doing those things or with those people anymore. I finally realize it. Whatever the situation is, I'm cutting the situation out. I'm cutting the people off. Whatever. Um... Yeah, it could be something to which you have been attached for a while, and it's just so it's coming through all of a sudden where it's like, oh, I gotta get away from this. I gotta get away from this. Masculine subconscious, a king of earth, generous, professional, responsible, and practical. A successful time, confidently accept opportunities you're offered. You have the Midas touch. The king of earth is also a Virgo towards a Capricorn or someone likened to those traits or attributes. Sitting here with the queen of air, um, this can be again connected to Venus, who's the ruler of Taurus, or to Mercury, who is the ruler of both Gemini and Virgo. Um, Venus, yeah, not just Taurus. I was talking about Taurus as it relates to earth, but as it relates to air, also Libra and Gemini as well. This can be all of a sudden the masculine coming into some sort of finance or I, an idea that is going to help him to become abundant. Again, this may be his own energy this week, the night of earth, or there may be a facilitator of abundance helping him. And that can be what this tower is about. It still may be connected to an actual structure, an asset, maybe a home or something. That's also abundance. Crowning the feminine. Major Arcana card, the Five of Water. Things not turning out the way you'd hoped. Not seeing the positive in the situation and crying over spilled milk. The Five of Water, for me, it's not one of my favorite cards at all. In fact, I don't like it much. Um, it, it's, it's a, it represents like um, being obnoxious and just about yourself. Very self-centered uh, and not conscious of the struggles of others and like how good you have it not recognizing that not appreciating it not counting your blessings not being thankful um it may have something to do with a relationship it's not going exactly as you would have hoped or wanted or planned if it was up to you to do so but you but there's still something there and so that's what you're not recognizing Surrounding the feminine, however, is the six of air. Things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation may even be taking a trip. The six of air can be about physical travel um, or metamorphic travel and movement, uh, but it's never negative. 
never negative. It's always positive movement forward. Fifth, fifth, the feminine subconscious, major arcana card. Major arcana card? Nope. <laughs> Why well, said that? It's the two of air. Um, hmm. Okay, I gotta be mindful of that, of why that came out. Anyway, the two of air um, is like, uh, it's when a decision or something like needs to be made, but nobody's making one. It's procrastination. They're like, if I don't open my mail, maybe I won't have to pay my bills. If I just like stack them up here, I can sort of forget them, maybe they'll go away. It's that sort of thing. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there's no problem. Maybe this is a major arcana kind of card. It is! <laughs> you see? Uh, it, it's just never... I don't always know why I'm saying what I'm saying or doing what I'm doing, but it never doesn't mean something. So, yeah, I was just a little early. Major arcana kind of card, the lovers crowns the union and or the art the two archetypes this week this represents the sign of gemini and it's conveniently crossing these other two gemini energies right the queen of air and the six of air so this could be venus again intimate relationships carefully weigh your decisions good health With the lovers representing gemini sitting next to life experience representing scorpio for me this is definitely be again venus and scorpio and maybe um, an abrupt change is brought about as a result, something that you would not have expected. This could be somebody who was in separation, all of a sudden coming out. Um, this could be somebody who had been looking for a new living situation for a long time or wanting one, planning one, thinking about one, right? Planning, night of um, earth, but taking their time and actually going about it or um, you know, trying to be resourceful and... and plan and strategic um all of a sudden making some sort of move with the um, venus and scorpio energy here at the root could be about a relationship too i know i keep going back and forth i told you i was weird today i just been i've just had a weird energy around me like really like hyper and sort of like no nonsense but calm and chill at the same time I don't know um, but the dice spiritual partnership this can be connected to spiritual partnership too and the decision that has to be made in that regard and logic versus your heart what's in your heart heart over head is a sort of decision having to be made is a possibility to be. And again, should I cut this thing off or should I welcome something in? Like the Queen of Air is good at making adjustments to her life either way. At the root. Decision. Yep, decision has to be made. Seven of Water, a complex decision. The need to do research. Stop procrastinating. What I say the Two of Air was, procrastination. So here comes the card saying, stop that. You got a decision to make. And yes, we understand it's taking you some time because your heart is fighting your head. Your logic is fighting your emotion. Your emotion. Your emotions have been turned upside down. That's like what the tower is. Swept off your feet, turned upside down, knocked down. Could be love. Like the song um, Kanye West, sometimes love knocks you down. And that, and that could be something came in unexpectedly. All of a sudden, you did not expect to fall for this person boom now you're sitting on your ass heart of the matter it's another five the five of earth fears surrounding money the wisdom to accept help from others uncertain self-employment for some this is still a relationship maybe between an air sign and an earth sign or an air sign and a water sign. And of those two, maybe most specifically, again, a Scorpio and a Gemini, there can be worry about, like if we get back into this relationship, we were lacking in this area before. Like I'm afraid to go back to it because 
What if that's still missing? I'm afraid to give you a chance. Remember the dice said try again. Try again. And that can what this is too. Like, uh, I don't know if that, that relationship isn't, you know, really what I want. But, you know, because I wanted it to be perfect like this. But there is still something there. So it's up for consideration, and that's a bit why you have to make the decision. You have options. The masculine has option two with the, the way this card is sitting here. And it's not about relationships for everybody. And to clarify that and figure out what it may be for other people if it has nothing to do with relationships, I'm going to use another tarot deck. It's my animal tarot, beginning with the Ace of Winter. Implementation of your brilliant new idea. Make it off to a rocky start, but keep going. The challenges will help you to refine your plan and to reshape your goals into something even better. So remember here, I said, Night of Earth, making a plan. It's just not turning out exactly as we would have wanted. So Ace of Winter shows up. It's going to help us to fix that plan, make it a little bit better. This could be the energy of Mercury, the driving force behind the Night of Earth, behind the sign of Virgo, right? our ruler. Open to the Ten of Spring. You're working far too hard and the stress will soon become too much. Reach out for help from others and take some time to play and to enjoy life. So this is connected to that dice um, that said that die. Um, that turned up 50-50. Right? I said if, if it's related to a couple or two people working together, not necessarily romantic, we've got to share the load. So there you go. Ask for some help to carry the stress, to carry the burden. If it's just you, take some time to play and to enjoy life. So you can't just keep all work and no play makes Jack a go boy, Jill a go girl. You need balance. Remember I said if it's an individual, it's about balance. If it's about couple, it's about sharing the load. There you go. Well, some just dumped away and topping them is the Queen of Spring. Talented, brilliant, independent, and charming. Don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. You may have several priorities vying for your attention at once, but you can do it. So that may be why you're under stress, too. There's just like so much going on. You know, you just feel like you have too much on your plate. But this is, they're saying that you can handle it. Six of Autumn also wanting to be seen. Your success and prosperity have allowed you to pay off debts, acquire wise loans, and to receive a grant or scholarship. In return for heaven's bless blessings, be sure to share the wealth with others through donations of time or money or reputable charities. The Six of Autumn for me is um, just basically about unconditional love, right? It's sharing, um, it's both the, being able to give and receive without agenda. So that's unconditional love for me. Whether it's a stranger, one stranger to another, right? Again, a loan officer. Um, <laughs> is being extra nice to you and is going to help you to get that loan even though maybe there's like a couple of dings on your credit report that wouldn't otherwise warrant you to have it they don't want anything from you they don't know you from you know tom dick or harry over the phone for whatever reason they they just there's a vibe connecting you guys and they, they felt compelled to really try to help you and you on the other end are super appreciative of what you're receiving and that's it that's the extent of it here I'm helping you and I'm ex I'm receiving I'm taking um, that help and I thank you that's unconditional love between strangers we know what it means between romantic partners or something family members so um, time of spring difficult energy stressful energy again maybe one person carrying the burden, the, you know, the full load, that coming to an end, whatever it is um, of those potential choices. And maybe that energy being replaced by the Ace of Winter instead, which means it was difficult getting here to this new start. Okay, here's the difficulty. But I'm here now, I got a new start. May still be a little bit bumpy as we, you know, get, get going because I'm just now laying down the burden i'm just now putting down this load so i've got to get used to that too we got to you know until we get the hang of it ace of winter 
And it's the dreamer again. So the fool, we started with the fool before with the other deck, um, the angel tarot, and now we've got another one. You are starting a new adventure. Run free and take a leap of faith. So it's a brand new path we've never walked on before. We have it here now opposite the Ace of Winter. So here's the brand new path. Again, it may be rocky at first. Or it may take some getting used to. Because a lot of us are stuck in these situations, or we feel stuck in these situations that are just convenient um, and comfortable because we're used to them. Maybe involving uh, family, marriage even. It just, we're accustomed to it. Is, is that all you want, you know, as it relates to love for the rest of your life? Well, I'm used to this. Or do you really want to feel that you're all that matters to another person and vice versa. You know, it's up to you. That's maybe one of the choices you have to make. It's time to express your love and appreciation for family, be it relatives or a chosen family of close friends. Congratulations may also be in order on a happy, fulfilling marriage as well as raising happy, balanced children. So opposite the dreamer and a brand new start, a leap of faith, um, you could be deciding to start a family together. You could be finding out maybe um, your partner is pregnant and what do we do there? We don't have much money. Can we have a baby? Can we afford to get a place and move in together? You know, that sort of thing. Open to the princess of summer, sensitive, kind, open-hearted, inexperienced. You can expect to kindle a new romantic relationship or a close platonic friendship. You may suddenly receive an emotional message from someone or be invited to a social event. The princess of summer is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, someone likened to those traits or attributes. It could be a younger one. Again, this could be representative of somebody giving birth or becoming pregnant. The, the page it could be a child. dreamer and it's another six of winter six of air the challenging times are coming to an end and you can now breathe a sigh of relief let the past go and embrace the happier times ahead so that's encouragement to you know take the leap of faith it sounds like even if you're accustomed to the past you're used to it. You know how that feels. Um, you're still guided to take a chance on this new thing. And trust that the universe always, you know, when it takes away these old things or guides us to leave, you know, the old alone in the past and to cut it off, Queen of Air style. Um, it's because it's bringing us to something not only new, but better. Like the wheel, right? Super abundance. Expect a sudden positive change in your life. You can now move forward and make great progress. The wheel represents the planet Jupiter. So Jupiter um, sextile, was it Pluto this week? I talked about a little while ago in the other video. Um, Jupiter is connected to a bunch of these signs that are active um, this week, actually. Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius, but I don't remember talking much about Sagittarius during um, that prelude, I'll call it. But we did talk quite a bit about Aquarius, which is one of the fixed signs. So Jupiter connected to Aquarius for that reason, because it's fixed. Also Leo. So we saw a moment ago the Queen of Fire. She could be a Leo. Um, Scorpio is a fixed sign and connected to Jupiter. Jupiter currently located in Scorpio. And lastly, um, Taurus, which is ruled by Venus. Also a fixed sign. Oh boy. Overall energy is the five of summer. So another one of these. We've got a five of water right here. Here's another one. Focus upon the fact that God loves you. 
and always has the highest of intentions for you. Isn't that what I was just saying? The universe leads us to better. God leads us to better. A positive outlook makes it easier to recover from life's little difficulties. All right, so the difficulty that we were going through with the ten of fire or even with the ace of winter coming to an end, if we, particularly if we you know, think positive thoughts. All right, so do that so that we can move onward and upward with this card. Here. I knew that this was Venus in Scorpio. I told you guys. A top major arcana card, life experience, or the tower, which again represents for me the sign of Scorpio, is major arcana card, justice, which represents the planet Venus, and the sign of Libra, which she rules. Fair decisions will be made after all the evidence is reviewed impartially. Have compassion for others and try to see all sides of a disagreement. Masculine, you may find yourself in some sort of legal situation. Okay, um, justice showing up atop it and saying that you know the, a fair decision is going to be made means that the best possible outcome will happen for you. Doesn't mean you're going to get completely away with something. You know, completely scot free, as they say. Um, but the best possible outcome that can happen for you will. So don't like be overwhelmed by this tower, um, which could be the equivalent of you ending up in jail or having a court date, um, you know, criminal, family, estate, again, um, all of these things are possibilities. Or it could be a situation again involving a Libra and a Scorpio. And I just got like, it could be a, a female or a feminine having to choose between or trying to choose between a Libra and a Scorpio. With the lovers here, and that, again, that heart versus head decision, like which one makes sense, but which one am, am, do I feel in, in my heart, which one am I in love with? Um, and they need to make a decision that also showed up here and here. Atop the Queen of Air, which probably also represents this Libra, is <laughs> it's another lovers, crossing this lovers, right? It has to do. For some, it's just about love, right? Love coming your way this week is going to knock you down. Sometimes love knocks you back. For others, again, it has to do with a, a, your heart versus your head type of decision. True and long-lasting love finds its way into your life. Follow your heart. So even if it does have to do with making a decision, this card says follow your heart with caring actions and choices. So that's still like justice. Major Arcana card number six, the lovers, represents the sign of Gemini, which is also connected to this queen of air. And gives you another possibility in this scenario here. Maybe not a Libra, maybe a Gemini. Atop the king of earth, Major Arcana card number 21, the world. Congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you've set out to do. You've made it through the challenges and incorporated the lessons that life offered you with grace and courage. Some masculine is focused on getting out of a situation um, where he was unhappy with his finances. Could be a job too. He is focused in this position of self-conscious, um, maybe involving some sort of third energy, party of three, not necessarily a love triangle. In fact, I don't really feel that that's what it is. I feel that it has something to do more so with like work, but. Uh, could be connected to a relationship too and let's say if I get divorced you know I'm thinking about my money um, if I get married I'm thinking about my money like it's gonna how it's gonna be tied up and affect with with others whatever your situation is you're being eased out of um, the old situation and brought into a newer better one 
uh, if you are up to the task of taking that leap of faith with the dreamer that showed up twice. The fool, right? That's the fool. Showed up twice here. So we're going to have an option. We're going to have free will. Are you taking the leap or are you not? And that's going to be up to you. Um, the world, for me, it has fire energy. Um, it's a fire element energy for me. I haven't connected it to any particular sign, you know, of the fire element, but that's what it, that's what I feel when I pick it up. Um, I just heard money to burn, money to burn. So yeah, getting out of a situation maybe where you were having to watch your pennies and abundance coming your way now. Maybe because of some sort of legal settlement or something, a decision that is handed down. Atop the five of water, the prince of spring, an opportunity arises that needs your attention right away. Moving quickly is important, yet there's nothing you can't handle if you follow your inner guidance. The prince of spring is passionate, charismatic, confident, and restless. He's also a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, or maybe a Scorpio. Um, and he comes to save the day. So where you're here worrying about these three cups, the Prince of Spring might come and pick them up for you. Right? He's here to make everything better. He may come to, you may learn that you're not happy with the situation and come to improve it. Can be an actual person. Again, court cards tend to relate to actual people. Um, including yourself as a possibility, right? It could be your own energy or somebody else that's impactful upon you this week who does play this sort of Prince Charming role to the rescue in your life this week and, like, to help you pick up the pieces, as they say. Help you pick up those three cups that spilled. Atop the six of air, it's the five of spring. We've got all these fives here, too. Fives represent the need for change. Um, right before I did this reading... I was on Instagram for a minute and Chris Brown posted, uh, it was a picture, it said five, five, five. And I said, you know, like, and he was talking about fives being about change. And he was like, comment five, 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 if you're ready for the change. And now we've got a five, five, five here on the table. Yeah, ready for change. This can also be about the need to take action. Sometimes the five of spring comes through as a, when spring cards or wands cards, they're about action. And um, sometimes this one shows up representing like Mars, saying like, let's get to it. This could very much be Mars and Aquarius making things better, right? This fire energy entering this air energy. Mars, ruler of a water sign, Scorpio. entering this air Aquarius so it's time to take action occasionally you may experience clashes with others if you decide the matter is worth your energy then you'll you know face it if you um, if you decide that right then you're gonna do what you can you're gonna face it and do what you can to minimize the conflict without sacrificing your goals or beliefs that means like maintaining your integrity and keeping your eye on the prize and your focus and stuff like that. But it's sitting here atop the six of air. So somebody could be trying to get in the way of your movement forward or again, more positively, this can be representative of taking action in moving forward. But we, with the six of air, it cannot get negative. We're not going backward here. Um, so if there is an attempt, they will fail. And maybe it's because you decide that you don't have the energy to give to it or you're just not going to entertain it at all. And it just sort of fizzles away. Atop the two of air here, the ten of summer. Didn't I say someone maybe trying to decide if they should make a family, become a couple, um, something like that? That can definitely be what it is, again, on the side of the feminine or in the family. Maybe get a divorce or something. Maybe that's what the conflict is. You have to, you're coming to a conflict or you have to end something. You need to change so that you can move into calm and still of waters. You've got to let go of this old relationship that doesn't serve you. That's a possibility, even though it means breaking up a family, as they say. It's time to express your love and appreciation for family, be it relatives or a chosen family of close friends. Congratulations also may be in order on a happy, fulfilling marriage 
as well as raising children that are happy and balanced. Atop the lover's crowning, it's another six of winter. So we have a six of winter, a six, a top of six, crossing a six and crossing a six. The lovers crossing the lovers. And six of winter, crossing the six of winter. So who, here we do have confirmation that this is about taking action. Again, this is about, we need to move on this. Six of air is a card of movement. Wands cards or spring cards are cards of movement. We have to take action. We have to stop procrastinating. We have to make a decision if that's involved in the situation and get moving. On whatever this is, could be a matter of love again. And similar to what I said about the masculine before uh, or the feminine, perhaps, or a feminine, a female having to make a choice between two males or two masculine energies, um, possibly a Scorpio and a Libra. Same thing could go here. A masculine energy having to make a choice between two air signs, um, quite possible, maybe a Libra and a Gemini. And it looks like the Gemini is winning, right, with the two lovers cards both showing up here. Um, and that that's the fair thing. That's the right thing. Because with the justice card showing up, it's still the right thing that's supposed to happen is what's going to happen. Justice is going to be done. It's going to be fair. It's going to be equitable. Somebody could be, um, or masculine, and maybe, well, yeah, I saw it over here too. Somebody could be getting divorced or, or divorcing a situation. If it's not a legal marriage, ending a relationship or something like that. And there's a better one waiting here. We got options here. We just got to choose what do we want. And yeah, it's, a, it's a, like a power struggle with ourselves. My mind is telling me this. this is a, that's an R. Kelly song, right? My mind's telling me uh, no, but my, my body's telling me yeah. <laughs> um, sex did turn up in the dice. It could be that too. It could be something physical. My mind's telling me no, but my body's telling me yeah. Something I must confess. I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind, right? A little hit it and quit it sort of situation. Seven of water ha um, has for me represented one night stands in the past. So that too a possibility. This is a general reading. But again, I think this is a, whatever this is, even if it is a one night stand, maybe it turns out nice. Maybe an actual friendship or actual relationship is born of it because I see whatever these options are or whatever this turns out to be um, as a better situation, or I feel I should say. Um, oh, I just put these wrong. This goes on top of this. Cause I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> Why does this look funny? All right, so let's go ahead and do and, and, and um, see what is at the root. What is bet? Boom. I just, I knew it already, that it was some, a better situation. The Ace of Autumn. This is our second one of these too, by the way, because we had the other Ace of Autumn before. You can expect a windfall of abundance, such as money. All right, some of us needed that. We've seen a King of Autumn or, or Earth, the Knight, our overall energy. And we had this lack here in the middle with the five. So we were wanting this abundance. You can expect the windfall of abundance, such as money, timely assistance, or a serendipitous meeting, right? It can be a relationship. But didn't I just, didn't I just say that here? This meeting, even if it's a one night stand, can be something that turns into something. It could be a serendipitous meeting. Exactly. Star-crossed lovers, as they say. Or some other rewarding advice that helps you, that facilitates abundance for you. You may be offered a fabulous new job. Maybe you got to decide, ooh, my heart is with my old job, but I'm lacking there. I don't make that much money. I need to do the right thing and, you know, go for this king of earth. I need to leave the lack and the low paying job behind and consider taking the king of earth position, right? That's one of my options. And sure enough, it leads right here to this ace of autumn. You know, it can be that too. Um, so a job or promotion or the prospect of a profitable business of some sort of venture or investment. 
this is the brand new path, right? It's an ace. So that's a new beginning too. This is the brand new path. That leap of faith that we're taking with the two fools that showed up, the two dreamer cards, it's leading us to this divine new start. Whether it is something financial, material, um, some sort of opportunity to become lucrative in one of those areas or relationship. This is the divine new start. And at the heart of the matter, atop the lack, right? Replacing the lack, hopefully, atop that five of earth is, oh, wow. Boom. Major Arcana card, the dreamer. You are starting a new adventure. Run free and take the leap of faith. I also pulled out my Egyptian Sibelia cards, my Egyptian Oracle cards. Oh, before I do that, I'm being shown another, basically another night of earth here. When I picked up the deck, this was left behind. The Prince of Autumn, who is trustworthy, dedicated, protective, and funny. It's important to make a detailed plan before starting any new endeavor. Once you have that plan in place, then you can take the immediate action steps and get as much accomplished as possible. So again, the Prince of Autumn is a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, someone likened to those traits or attributes. He's another Knight of Earth. Um, so he, he could easily be Mercury, Venus as well. Um, with the Egyptian Oracle cards, I am beginning with the Queen of Hearts. Now, the Queen of Hearts is about the need to surrender to love. That's not only, that's not all she's about though, actually. Um, the need to surrender to love. Also, it's about being clear about how we feel. Like not leaving anything vague or ambiguous that could go either way. Being clear about how you feel. Otherwise it could lead to something, you know, like an unfortunate situation. Um, also, if, you know, God forbid this woman brings you any sort of pain or lack or loss, like she, she doesn't mean to hurt you. You know, this is not a malicious person. So if it's a friend, a business partner or a romantic interest, which is, you know, quite likely we have her here staring at a picture of what appears to be her divine masculine. She doesn't mean to hurt you. It is um, card number 12. So this too can have something to do with a party of three and maybe needing to choose between two lovers, um, as I mentioned before, which is also, I don't remember if I tied it to this, but also like illustrated by this too. Again, this is options. We got two lovers here. We got two lovers here and we got to choose between them. Do I want the earth sign? Do I want the air sign? Do I want the water sign? Um, and this may be a water sign too. Hearts, like if I were using playing cards, for example, to do a reading, the suit of, of hearts represents water or cups. All right. There's a card for the masculine and a card for us, feminine. So from the angel tower first to the masculine, the four of earth, being too frivolous or too cautious with money, good business decisions, and giving to those less fortunate. I think more importantly, um, what's, what's jumping out at me at least is this, the fact that it's a four um, and it's the four of earth. So not only is it about uh, setting a foundation or wanting to, to build on a sturdy foundation, it's coming up with practical ways, sensible ways, logical ways to do that and a plan toward doing that. Like he's putting some real thought um, forethought into how he's going to go about doing this and setting up something for somebody, <laughs> whatever the choice turns out to be. Um, for the feminine, it's another six. Wow. There's so many sixes in this reading. The six of water, memories from your history or childhood. 
Issues regarding children and romanticizing the past. The Six of Water is also a soulmate card or the soulmate card of the minor arcana, at least for me, um, of the tarot. Soulmate, past life relationships um, ha can have to do with our past and things that we need to like revisit, resolve from there, address so that we're able to move on. It can be attached to this the five of earth, maybe because of some relationship in my past, maybe even when I was a child, something having to do with my relationship with my parents, my family. I'm now a particular way and I'm worried, uh, you know, I have a fear of abandonment, fear of loss, fear of change, whatever it is as a result of that. So that's something I need to deal with in order to take the leap of faith. From the animal tarot to the masculine. The Prince of Winter. Get ready for progress to speed up. This situation requires you to choose logic and intellect over emotion. Ooh, things just got a little tricky. Because I was saying go with the heart. With the two lovers showing up. The Prince of Winter says, use your head. What are you going to do? Um... The other reason a Prince of Winter or a Knight of Swords shows up is because a decision has to be made. We're awaiting a decision and we've got to make a decision. Um, so one of the other masculine. And that just supports what we've already see, seen and, and said so far. You're either awaiting a decision or you need to make one or both. And it could quite possibly be a decision between two or more suitors or lovers. And the Gemini wins. <laughs> That's my bet. I'm betting on the Gemini. Um, especially if it's a Scorpio, because we now the feminine side just got this Prince of Summer. Romantic, flirtatious, introspective, and enchanting is the Prince of Summer. This is the Knight of Cups. A deeply emotional and probably romantic experience will sweep you off your feet. Didn't I say it's going to sweep you off your feet? The Tower which represents Scorpio for me. Things can move very quickly during such a whirlwind romance or encounter. So stay balanced and make decisions with both your heart and your intellect. So the, the Prince of Summer comes to trump <laughs> the Prince of Winter. So whoa, 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 hold on. Before you go using just your head, um, make sure you use both. And with the other cards here to support this, it looks like, you know, emotion may even win out over logic. Lastly, from the Egyptian Oracle cards to the masculine. Hmm. The five of spades. And this looks like, um, Anubis and I forget his divine feminine's name. Who was he made it with? It's escaping me right now. But Anubis and his mate, it looks like. And they're standing, it's like their souls. Like maybe this was, her, this is where um, she's been laid to rest in this sarcophagus. Their souls have risen together, like joined for all eternity. Spades, as it relates to um, playing cards, being used to read tarot represents uh, swords, air, and again, five um, would be about change. This feels and looks like a soulmate connection and relationship, though, like not anything having to do with change, except for a, one's individual change. She has transitioned from this plane to this one, so that can be exchanged in that sense. I will read that from the book, though. And for the feminine, it's the three of diamonds. So diamonds represent the suit of pentacles or coins. And I think we can tell that from here. This is like abundance and the waiting for that to come in. And the three of coins or pentacles in the traditional tarot, um, at least for me, is about not only abundance, but abundance that we've earned. Like we did the work. We, we went through the 
the trial, the tribulation, or whatever we had to go through. And trial, maybe a, maybe in a literal sense, you know, that we're all dealing with something. Um, maybe that's why the the five of spring is here, right? Conflict, it's trial. We went through it. So whatever this abundance is that's coming our way, we've earned it. But I'll read that from the book too. Beginning with the masculine's five of spades. Death. The god Anubi accompanies a soul. Oh, okay. So this isn't his mate. Um, they just, they look and feel so connected to me though. So I'm going to attach it to that too, uh, to a soulmate energy um, as well. Closing a cycle or immediate transformation. So we did feel that too. I said she's made a transition here, a transformation from this plane to this one. Powerful changes or the ending of situations. This can also be about boredom lack of opportunity and despair. All of these must be fought by accepting the change in all the important aspects of our lives. Try saying no, really try to close a cycle and not put off a definitive solution to that problem. So let's try to end it without procrastinating and holding it open, holding the door open is what that's saying. Those who don't cut ties with the past always blame others for faults that are also theirs. And for the feminine, the three of diamonds. Gifts of the precious Nile Valley Discovery of your capabilities and achievement of projects. It indicates an abundance of results, especially if accompanied by an influential figure who can appreciate your talents and capabilities that finally rise to the surface. So maybe this or this. Confidence and inner value must be further increased or the gifts bestowed by destiny will be short lived. The universe gave us all that we have. Try to create something with your own hands and gift it to someone with whom you have recently had a disagreement. From the moment of giving you might begin to better understand the meaning of give with love. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the weekly general reading. It looks kind of like a love reading, but it's not. I'll be back with that actually, with the love reading. You guys got some decisions to make, or I should, should I say we? Let's get to them. Namaste, angels.